What's up, everyone? So as I was browsing some YouTube content that I enjoy as well as my own, so thank you all for checking it out. Um, I came across an ad and it had painted this picture. It was like, Americans have worked hard for everything they've had. And it gives, you know, the all-American Norman Rockwell sort of look. And then it jump cuts and the music gets dramatic and the voice changes, but they're coming for your jobs. I would dare to say that in a lot of ways, Americans have given away more jobs than anybody has ever come and taken, uh, especially when we're talking about people from other countries. What, we, what we've done is we've taken certain lines of employment, we've demonized it, we've judged it, we've scrutinized it, and the people who do that get none of our respect, and we have pigeonholed them into either being a certain class, certain intelligence, or worthy of only so much of our respect. Let's just take uh, fast food workers. Let's just start with that. That's a huge part of that problem is uh, the, the stereotype. And it is what it is, but if you see somebody from another country who has come here, traveled many, many miles, left their homeland, has come, learned possibly a new language or part of one, and then has gotten themselves to be a working part of our society, uh, all respect on my end. But they didn't take your job. You didn't want it in the first place. And most Americans don't when it comes to a lot of jobs like that. We don't want them. That's why there are so many people flourishing in certain areas. When you look at um, service jobs, lawn, uh, lawn care, uh, landscaping, things like that. When you look at nail techs, there's a lot that's, it's, it's always a culture that we associate with certain people. Um, housekeeping, janitorial, there's just jobs that, again, we as Americans who were born here, who have been told that we are better than a lot of the jobs that are available, we, we simply give them away. Nobody came and took them. Then there's the other part. Corporations, when you you ever call um, a helpline and you get somebody in uh, in the Middle East and that's because they're outsourcing a lot of the work. A lot of these companies are doing that. Why? Because it's cheaper. Why are your clothes uh, saying and your goods often saying made in China, made in Mexico, made in because you're reaching a point where you're seeing, hey, it's cheaper for these corporations to do this someplace else because Americans either want more money or it costs more to make it here, things like that. So when we're talking about jobs being taken, look at your corporations and then look at us internally as a society for the jobs we've given away. Nobody's coming to take these jobs um, that we can't compete for. Now, if we're competing for the same janitorial job, then we'd look at that and say, you know what? The most qualified person wins because in my estimation, I just want to be part of the consumer, um, the consumer society that receives the best product, the best service from whoever. I don't care where they're from, provided they treat me respectfully, I would treat them respectfully. But guys, we got to get past a lot of these uh, these stereotypes and these fear and smear campaigns um, in order to find political favor or just to continue this wave of um, self-serving nationalism. I'm going to leave it at that. What do you guys think? Are people coming to actually take our jobs or is the rest of the world just catching up when it comes to the sciences, maths, and all the, these other areas that... Um, in a lot of ways, they may have been behind because they didn't have the um, the financing and the things that America has had for longer than a lot of countries. So I think it's just a lot of catch up, but nobody's coming to take our jobs. They're just coming to work. And I think there's a huge difference. So we got to get over a lot of the fear that uh, some people seem to have, certain groups seem to have. Uh, again, ace up the sleeve, advice, comment, experience. Let me know what you think. Hopefully this finds everybody in a total pursuit or a place of total health, mind, body, and soul. We'll see you on the next one. Peace, love, unity, solidarity.